Good morning, church. It's great to be with you on this Monday as we start our devotions for the week of Christmas. Today's reading is one of those rich prophetic scriptures that we associate with the birth of Jesus. We're reading from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 to 7, and this is how it reads. It says like this. It says, for to us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. And he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. There's so much promise in this scripture. Firstly, that Jesus is given to us that to us a child is born and to us a son is given. Just pause for a moment. God gave Jesus to us. More than that, in John 6, we discover that God gave us to Jesus. He's given to us. We're given to him. We are wholly and utterly connected to Jesus. Then we discover that the weight of life's government is on him and not on us. When you compare pictures of a prime minister or a president before and after their leadership, you see the weight of the role that they have carried. You see in their face, in their demeanor, in their hair color. They seem to have aged significantly. But in Jesus, despite carrying all government, he remains the same yesterday, today, and forever pressure off us but just for a moment i want us to dwell in the second half of verse six where it says and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace when you consider the nature of something you base that on what the something does a stick that you use specifically for golf starts to get called a golf club because what it uses it for defines what it is. The same for a stick you use for cricket becomes a cricket bat. It's what they do that defines what they are. The same can be true with people. What they do becomes what they are known for. Isaiah makes these prophetic declarations with the preface he will be called, which literally means one will call his name, that we will name him these things because his name sums up the character of who he is. He will be called Wonderful Counselor because he leans in, hears you, and brings astounding supernatural wisdom for the situation you're in. He'll be called Mighty God because of his heroic, supernatural power, the awesomeness and largeness of God in display in Jesus. He will be called Everlasting Father, that he was and is and is to come, the Eternal Father, always bringing concern, care, and discipline to his children. And he will be called Prince of Peace the one with all authority to bring peace. Peace that means wholeness or completeness. All authority to bring peace-filled wholeness to our lives. Why does Isaiah prophesy these names? Because God is what God does. He cannot help himself because those names are who he is. This Christmas week, Speak those names of Jesus over your life. He is wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Have a wonderful week.